Thank you, and go. Um, a catalyst is a substance that makes a chemical reaction run faster than it would do without the presence of the catalysts. And hence, catalysts are used all over the chemical industry. Historically, catalyst has been developed using a trial and error approach. That means that the catalyst itself is a black box phenomenon. This doesn't work with a pointer, though. Um, what we really want to do in the future, because now we hit the wall of catalytic efficiency based on this trial and error approach. So what we really want to do is that we would like to use science to um, design our future catalysts. However, we have a problem, because we don't know the mechanism of these catalysts. So in order to actually use the tools provided by science, we need to open the black box and learn about the mechanism of the catalyst. And this is what I do in my research. So my research concerns a catalyst used to remove sulfur from crude oils in order to prevent acid rain. So this is what the catalyst looked like. And this is an industrial catalyst. However, the actual catalyst you cannot see because it's a nanoparticle. So it looks something like this in the model down here. And the reason we know so little about the catalytic mechanism is that the catalyst functions in refineries under extreme conditions. So inside these reactor tanks, the conditions are so harsh that we have no characterization techniques to have a look into the reactor and see what's going on. So our solution is that now we have um, a very complex problem up here. And this problem is way too complicated for us to study. So we're trying to break it down into its most elemental parts. Then when we get all the small pieces of information that we can study, we can combine these pieces of information into the full picture you see over on the other side of the slide. So what I do is that I grow a copy of the nanoparticle found in the catalyst. And then I can expose my model here to different molecules found in the reactor of the catalyst, uh, catalytic process. So then I can investigate the interaction between these two components. And I do that by using a very, very powerful microscope where you can see individual atoms. And here you can see if the colors are okay from where you're sitting, that you can see the nanoparticle down here and you can see in the middle, or in the bottom, sorry, that the molecule is interacting with this nanocluster. So this is a small piece of information that we can put into the other pieces of information to find the full picture to break the wall of the catalytic effect.